At this point, you could probably call this project done, save it as a PNG, and upload it to, just, to the discussion. But I want to show you a few more things to play around with if you're interested. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, turn the eyeball off on all my fruit layers, just so I see the container. And if you select the container layer, you can modify it using uh, layer effects if you want to. You can access them by pushing the FX button on the bottom of your screen and then choosing any one of these. It doesn't matter, so I'll choose Drop Shadow. It takes you to the Layer Styles dialog box and then you can play around with these settings. We'll have an entire lecture on layer styles later in the semester, and so for now you would just be playing around with it. I like to make the distance really far. It makes it look like there's some sort of spotlight on your item. And so maybe that's good. You can change the angle of the light. And so you could have the box drop down. Make sure you write down the angle that you use, though, because if you want to use um, a drop shadow on your fruit or on your vegetables or your flowers, you want to make sure it's the same angle as the rest. You can also, if we grab an apple here, you can also apply layer effects to your apples. So uh, I'm going to select Apple 3, choose the FX button, and I'm going to choose Inner Shadow and see what happens. You can see on the left hand side I got a little bit of an inner shadow. You could also add maybe an inner glow and you can see that the shadow is black and the glow is white which makes it look unnatural. But you could always change the inner glow to be a color. You could make it red, you could make it green, do different things. If we apply that same drop shadow to the fruit, you're going to want to make the distance, uh, not the opacity, the distance smaller so that you can actually see it on the individual fruit. I would also recommend don't apply an effect to one apple at a time or one element at a time. Select all of those layers all at once and group them. You can have a group inside a group and then apply the layer effect to the entire group. 